Hey everybody! Today I'm going to be sharing a sensory exploration that's inspired by one of my favorite children's books for the spring, and really any time of year, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. So what you're going to need for this is Play-Doh. It can be store-bought or it can be handmade Play-Doh, and if you're looking for a recipe, I have several really great ones up on my Instagram account, at JillyBeamsNYC. So we need some Play-Doh. I like to keep it in a big ball in the center, either on a tray or in a little bin like this or a flat surface. And then we have some found materials um, that are recycled materials that will kind of inspire, perhaps, making a caterpillar. So in here, I have several different types of lids and jar tops. We have some little tops from squeezy apple sauces that work really well for this. You just want to be mindful, depending on the age of the child you're doing this with, if you're doing it with a young toddler, keeping the jars um, on the, or sorry, the jar tops on the larger side, because of course we never want to have any kind of mouthing or choking hazard. So we have several of those collected in here. And then I have some pipe cleaners, cut up straws, regular size straws, popsicle sticks, and I would just put this out really like this and see what your child does with it. Often just putting out materials will inspire, um, maybe after reading the book, will inspire our little ones to make caterpillars. So if you've read the story, you can talk about maybe making a caterpillar, having them use their hands and their fingers to roll a caterpillar shape. Maybe we're sticking in the caterpillar antenna using the straws. And anytime we do something like that, we're really working those fine motor skills, right? Our finger muscles, our hand muscles. So maybe it looks something like this. Maybe we're taking our lids and our jar tops and creating, whoops, creating circles, right? Kind of like the caterpillar's body. Hopefully you can see here. Maybe we're actually lining them up and making caterpillars in the Play-Doh using the lids. Hopefully you guys can see. So lots of ways to play. And again, anytime we put out an exploration but like this that's inspired by a season, inspired by a book in this case, or both, we put out these materials to see what the children might do. They may do things like this. You can perhaps help um, encourage and facilitate some of this play. Your child might have a totally different idea in mind where these circles are pieces of cake and it's a bakery, or I know a favorite in a lot of my classes is using these as candles and making a birthday cake. Maybe we're making trees or buildings. There's no right or wrong way to play, and this is really about just giving them materials that will help foster imagination and creativity. So if it doesn't end up being caterpillar play, it'll end up being whatever play it is. Regardless, there's gonna be a lot of benefits that are gonna come out of it. Language de development, fine motor development, um, are just two to name um, a few, but there's so much more that can come out of any kind of sensory exploration. Not to mention the fact that what it does for the neural pathways in the brain is going to then inspire all kinds of growth in many different um, areas of development. So, Give it a try. I'd love to see your little one's creation. So tag me at Jilly Beans NYC so I can take